I'm Patrick McCarthy of Maths Tutor. I'm going to show you how to do trigonometric equations. Right, let's start with a simple trigonometric equation. So that basically means, trigonometric means you have either sine, cos or tan in it, basically. So let's start with this very simple equation. Sine of x equals a half. Okay, so what we have to do is find x. In order to find x, Go to the calculator, you put sine to, sine to minus 1 over half, and that will come out as 30 degrees. Okay, that's very, very simple. That's the most simple base, basic thing. Now, what you might get with a tri trigonometric equation is something like this, and it's often skipped, but it's very important. So that means that x is between 0 and 360 degrees. So if the calculator will only tell me this 30 degrees, okay, I need to, actually what happens is with sine, cos and tan, they, they repeat. So for every 360 degrees, you actually have to give two answers, not one. Uh, the reason being is that a sine curve looks like this. It's a curve and it just goes on and on and on. So, here is 360, there is 180, there is 90, there is 270. So what actually happens is if sine of something, this is the sine curve, if sine of something is a half, there is a half there, and that means this is one answer here, draw a half along. That's one answer there, and that's one answer there. So actually what you find, for every 360 degrees, you get two answers. So the way to do this is a cheat way. You could go and draw the, the graph, either the sine graph or the cos graph, which looks like this, or the tan graph, which is slightly more complicated. There's a cheat, and it's very, very, very simple to use. You draw crosshairs like this, and you label it A, S, T, C. Now, you, what you need to do is find two, two angles, you need to find this angle here for our sine 30 which was here and this one. Now what you do, oh, this represents all sine, tan and cos, so we had sine in our equation. Okay, so that means first of all you always draw, always in this in this quadrant here, what you get after the calculator. So the calculator tells you 30 degrees, so I draw up 30 degrees from this line here. This line represents zero. This is 30 degrees. Now what I do is because I had sine and the calculator told me 30 degrees, I go to my sine quadrant and I do exactly the same as this. I draw off the horizontal, always off the horizontal, and I draw 30 degrees here. So now I've magically come up with my two answers. What I do is I literally start here and I go around. Count the degrees, I go around until I hit one of my lines. So start here. Around there, we've done 30 degrees. That's our first answer that comes off the calculator. Now, if you keep going around here, you get to 180 here. So this line here represents 180, take away 30 degrees. So the other answer is 150 degrees. And that represents that number there. Now that number there is 150 degrees. Um, this is a cheat way. So if, for instance, I had this, cos x equals root over 2, I would get x again is 30, but the other answer doesn't lie at 150 like it does for sine. What I would need to do is draw, right, I go to the all quadrant, I draw 30 degrees and I get the one I get off the calculator. The other one I have to go to my cos quadrant which is down here, off the horizontal I draw 30 degrees. Now what does this represent? How many angle, how many degrees does this represent? It represents, I have to start here and trace round. All around, that's 90 degrees, 180, 270. That's 360, take away 30, less than 30. So the other answer there is 330 degrees. So the key thing to remember here is this. For every 360 degrees, you get two answers for, for sine, cos and tan. You must give two answers. You can't just give the first one that comes off the calculator. And the way to calculate it, you can draw the graphs, but they're slightly more complicated. The easy way is to use this cheat. You draw your crosshairs. You start with all 
sine, tan, and cos, A, S, T, C, like this. Now, you put into your calculator, sine to minus one, cos to minus one, tan to minus one, whatever you get in your calculator, you draw in the all quadrant. And then you go, you decide, right, if I have a sine, I'm gonna draw my degrees I get off the calculator in the sine quadrant here. If it's a cos problem, you draw in the cos quadrant, and if it's a tan problem, obviously you draw it here in the tan quadrant. And you count the number of degrees around, and you give two answers for every 360 degrees. Um, the reason being is that the curves keep going. So if I had naught is less than x, less than 720, that's two lots of 360 degrees, and I'd have to give four answers. And that's trigonometric equations.